my eye color has changed, my eyebrow color has changed, and I can feel in myself that I'm changing to a black woman. We live in a crazy world, folks. Everyone loves black culture, and people even go to the extreme to look black. These stories are super crazy and ridiculous. Here are nine people who did the unthinkable to become black. Number nine, Kim Kardashian. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing these photos from the campaign, the ones that we took, and people online are saying that I'm doing blackface, but I would never in a million years be disrespectful and do that. Kim has always been blamed for the apparent rise in young people seeking cosmetic surgeries and for the most part trying to look black. So this video can't be complete without mentioning the mother of all black fishes, Kim. Kim came under heavy criticism for styling her hair in braids and cornrows. The best explanation she gave for her choice of hairstyle only made matters worse. Honestly, a lot of the time, it comes from my daughter asking us to do matching hair. And I've had these conversations with her that are like, hey, maybe this hairstyle will be better on you and not me. I don't believe the story. While we do agree every mother and daughter's relationship goes beyond any kind of hairstyle, Kim's next statement was actually what broke the camel's back. I've definitely learned over time and I've tried to pass the culture of learning onto my kids too. But then there is also a history of braiding hair in Armenia and people forget that I have Armenian ancestry as well. Is it true? Yes. While it is true, Armenians historically wore braids, Netsin saw her damage control as simply laughable and ridiculous. Kim Kardashian is trash. What the f*** does Armenian have to do with you wearing braids in your hair? The same sh that black people get told is unprofessional. Another user wrote, you are not black. While another wrote, how does she keep getting away with it? Do you think him wearing cornrows is justified by her Armenian ancestry? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 8. Martina Big Martina Big seems like a lovely person, but whenever people realize the woman they're looking at isn't genetically black, they lose their minds. Meet Martina Big, a woman who has transformed her body with countless cosmetic procedures and tanning injections so she can call herself a black woman. Um, I like the curves of black women and I want to um, get them. Step by step. What are you talking about? Martina Big is German and currently has the biggest breast in Europe. But not only are these things massive, they can actually be pumped up like a balloon. No kidding. And you will be amazed to know that she was once a flight attendant, but later switched to modeling and spent about $60,000 transforming herself into what she now calls exotic Barbie. I want to be black and more black. Number 7. Rachel Dozel. Rachel is a former college instructor and activist known for presenting herself as a black woman despite having been born to white parents. Why, why do you want to be black? Well, I think that, you know, sometimes how we feel is more powerful than how we're born. Rachel became the subject of public scrutiny when her parents released photographs of their daughter as a blonde white child and appeared on TV to denounce her as a fraud. She had been living a lie, pretending to be black all this while. It's alarming that Rachel continues to make false statements mm -hmm. and have no acknowledgement that she has been doing that and it's become an issue. The statement by her parents followed her reports to police and local news media that she had been the victim of race-related issues. Now, listen to this, she had also claimed on application forms to be mixed race and had also falsely claimed that an African-American man was her father. Are you African-American? I don't, I don't understand the question of, I did tell you that yes, that's my dad. In the aftermath of the controversy, Rachel was dismissed from her position as an instructor in Washington University. I think she was a bit of a hero because she kind of flipped on society a little bit. Is it such a horrible thing that she pretended to be black? Rihanna sarcastically saw her a hero. Number 6. Fanny Miley TikToker Fanny Melly got everyone's attention, including YouTubers like Sunny V2, after uploading a video to TikTok that showed her skin, dark like that of a black girl. She went to a tanning saloon for hours. She then posted videos on her TikTok claiming to be a black girl. You're a white boy and you love you some black women. Please use this sound because sometimes we can't tell if y'all like black girls or not. Many users on the internet look quite disturbed by her appearance and the intention behind it as extremely insensitive. In some of her videos, she claims of being 0.9% Jamaican. Yeah, you heard that right. 0.9% Jamaican, but some other time she says she's transracial. Her post like TBH, I don't see what the issue is with embracing natural melanin, what comes out when I get sunburned, only goes to show she never really cared about what the black community thinks. This kind of post went on for so long, people began to think funny statements are not only openly ridiculous, but she could just be making fun of black people. Number 5. Eyazos Tuska I've had no surgery 
So I can't take off these lips. I can't, I can't remove my fake bun plants. Like Another interesting and quite unbelievable story of a young woman trying to look black is that of Ega. Ega claimed her skin is naturally not pale. I am not a white pale person. But she does admit to making it darker. I'm not denying the fact that I tan. But what is wrong with tanning? Ega, who goes by Lija on social media, claims the differences in her appearance as shown in these two pictures is completely natural. She says it's as a result of her hard work in the gym and being fresh back from holiday. Listen to this. She also thinks that part of the reason people are surprised when they find out she's white is down to stereotypes about what Polish people should look like. I am proud to be Polish, but I don't know why I look like this. My features are just there. I can't tell that I have big legs and not the stereotypical Polish features. How about the braids? Well, Alija says her friend's little sister has started a hair company and wanted to use her head for pictures. Oh, that totally makes a lot of sense. An Instagram user couldn't contain his anger anymore and went on to say, I am annoyed and I'll tell you why. Being black is beautiful, but it ain't easy. A price was paid for the culture and identity we have. No one has paid the price more than our women. So anyone pretending to be a black woman because it's trendy but there's a shit out of me. I know we live in a world where anyone can be whatever they want and I get it but I'm annoyed. Fellas, stay out of her DMs, do it for the culture. Number 4. Emma Holberg Hey guys, my name is Emma Holberg and I'm back with Emma Holberg, an Instagram model with more than half a million followers, has found herself in hot waters after being accused of pretending to be black to get followers and sponsorships. The Swedish model grew popular on Instagram for her impressive makeup looks and trendy outfits. Most of her followers thought she was either black or biracial due to her deep complexion and curly hair. Netizens later dug up her old photos showing her with much lighter skin and completely straight hair. I honestly thought Emma Halberg was half black. I thought she was mixed. My girl is fully Swedish. While one other user wasn't surprised at all by her actions and went on to say, white girls, if you want to pass as black, how about using your platforms to address the injustices and discrimination actual black people face? Don't just appropriate. Appreciate the people you are imitating. Number 3. Jaden Gumbayan. Beauty vlogger Jaden is one of the many social media users to be accused of blackface after she released a series of Instagram photos where she appears to have dark curly hair and a deep tan. I love these photos because they aren't airbrushed or edited in any way to alter my body or appearance. However, several people thought she was being ridiculous and blasted her in the comments for trying to be black. You are not black, hun. Let you go. Educate yourself and figure out why this is offensive. Others were simply just confused, saying that although she's beautiful, they did not understand where she was going with this. One Twitter user actually compared her to Rachel, asking who is worse. Number 2. Hannah Titensa Anna Titensa takes sunbeds to such an extreme level that she sometimes gets mistaken for a different race. But the beauty therapy student wants people to know she is not racist. Hannah is from Northern Ireland and she became addicted to tanning when she got an amazing tan on a holiday in Turkey. This photo from the trip shows how she completely changed color from her natural white skin to a dark brown. But this remarkable color isn't just down to the sun. Hannah also uses under-the-counter tanning injections of a substance called melanotan, which users take to go darker more quickly under sunlight or sunbeds. It's really not that bad. And while Hannah admits she's at the extreme end, she says she's part of a green trend in Ireland where people turn their bodies to become darker. Hannah had literally cooked herself to become black. It makes me happy. Number 1. Kylie Jenner Kylie is known for stealing from black culture to profit herself, and fans aren't staying silent about it any longer. Unlike other women with tans, super tans, injections and whatnot, Kylie instead spotted cornrows and duraks in photos she shared with her millions of followers. Now, because the reality star is why people have criticized her for appropriating black culture in an effort to be trendy and fashion forward. She's also been accused of failing to credit the black designers behind some of her clothes. However, Jenna made a point to say that her decisions were not intentional. Kylie has since deleted most of the controversial images from her Instagram page. Now, do you think any of these people are really black fiction? Let us know in the comment section below. Share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. As we show me host Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay amazing, stay safe. Peace.